we want to solve this problem by factoring and using the principle of zero products. So we already have the left-hand side factored. However, it's not equal to zero. So we're going to have to multiply it out to get x squared. And then x times negative 3 is negative 3x, equal to 18. We can then subtract 18 over because we need 0 on one side. So x squared minus 3x minus 18 equal to 0. And now we'll factor. I'll need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 18 and add to give me negative 3. So numbers that multiply to give me 18 would be 9 and 2 or 3 and 6. We can see subtracting 3 and 6 will give me the negative 3, in particular negative 6 and positive 3. So I have x minus 6 equal to 0, adding 6 to both sides, gives me x equal to 6. I also have x plus 3 equal to 0, and subtracting 3 from both sides gives x equal to negative 3. So I have the answer 6 and negative 3. We'll now find the x-intercepts of this graph. So I'm looking for where this thing crosses the x-axis. So whenever y is equal to 0. So 0 equal to 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. You can use the quadratic formula to solve this. However, we're going to try to factor. So the only thing that multiplies to be 2 is 2 and 1. 18 could be a 3 and a 6, and it could also be a 9 and a 2. And I can see if I put a 6 and a 3, my outside product is now 12, and the inside product is 3. And 12 minus 3 is 9. So I'll need plus 3 and minus 6 to get negative 12 plus 3 to be negative 9. So now I have 2x plus 3 equal to 0. We can subtract 3 from both sides. That gives me 2x equal to negative 3. Dividing by 2 gives me x is negative 3 over 2. So that's going to correspond to this one. I also have x minus 6 equal to 0. And adding 6 to both sides gives me that x is 6. That will correspond to this intercept. Let's consider a water slide. This slide is 16 feet long. And the ladder leading, leading to the side to the slide is 12 foot long. So I want to know how far is it from the end of the slide to the foot of the ladder. This number. And we're going to round our approximations to the nearest tenth. So we have a right triangle here. So we're going to use the, quad, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, which says that alongside the hypotenuse squared is equal to leg squared plus leg squared. So we'll start by doing 16 times 16 to get 256. 12 times 12 is 144. We can then subtract 144 from both sides. And this gives 112 is equal to x squared. We'll then want to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the x squared. In general, when we take a square root, we want to take the positive and negative square root. However, in this case, since we're dealing with a distance, a negative number wouldn't make sense. So we'll just deal with the positive. Rounding to the nearest tenth gives me 10.6 is equal to x. We want to perform the operations and simplify if possible. Anytime we're adding or subtracting fractions, the first step would be to factor the denominator. And this factors into a plus b a minus b. So my least common denominator will be a plus b a minus b since you'll notice those are the only things currently on the denominator. So the first fraction, 2ab, 
over a plus b a minus b already has the common denominator on the bottom. My second fraction does not, it only has an a minus b. So I'm going to have to add the a plus b. If I add it to the bottom, I need to also add it to the top. My last one is missing both the a plus b and the a minus b. So I can add it to both the top and the bottom of the fraction. Now I can add the numerators and put it over the common denominator. So I have 2ab minus b times a plus b plus 4 times, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out to get a squared minus b squared all over a plus b, a minus b. In order to simplify the numerator, we're going to want to multiply this out. So 2ab minus ab minus b squared plus 4a squared minus 4b squared over a plus b a minus b. Simplifying this, I get 4a squared plus ab minus 5b squared over a plus b a minus b. And this actually factors into 4a plus 5b times a minus b over a plus b a minus b. And now you'll see that they both have this a minus b. So my final answer, 4a plus 5b over a plus b. We now want to simplify this. And the way we'll do this is we'll start by finding the common denominator. And we can see we have an x squared and a y squared inside of these fractions. So I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by x squared, y squared. So this gives me 1 over x squared times x squared, y squared minus 36 over y squared times x squared y squared all over 10y minus 60x x squared y squared. Multiplying the first fraction gives me y squared. Multiplying the second one gives me minus 36x squared. Multiplying the bottom gives me 10 x squared y cubed minus 60 x cubed y squared. And now we'll look at factoring. The top will factor into y plus 6x y minus 6x. In the denominator, we can see that they each have a 10 x squared y squared in common. And I'm left with y minus 6x. So we can cancel the y minus 6x to get y plus 6x over 10 x squared y squared.